everyone this is dr manush chakraborty i work as a gynecological oncologist at monipal hospital in kolkata you who are listening to this video perhaps do not have cancer or who knows have got cancer or your relatives have got cancer but the interesting thing to understand is basically the cancer doesn't come with a flag in their hand that i am cancer i am not cancer and gynecological cancers or problems are very notorious in terms of getting diagnosed so any uterine problem has got a tendency to develop into gynecological higher problems or ovarian problems so therefore today we are going to give you very important but easy few tips to understand how you can pick up the problems even if it is not cancer the areas where you need to turn your antenna on to have a little bit better information about the condition you or your relatives may have let's first concentrate on the uterus uterus any abnormal bleeding after year 40 that is 40 should be reported to the doctor the bleeding happens in rhythm any out of bleeding out of rhythm bleeding should be reported to your doctor that becomes specially important after menopause that means when the period stop every woman goes to that type of change or menopause when the period stop any bleeding after menopause should be brought to attention to a doctor any bleeding that means i repeat any bleeding even if it is a small bleeding or a bucket full of bleeding because women are very normal to experience bleeding over last suppose 20 30 years they bleed heavily but after menopause when they see a speck of bleeding drop of bleeding they think it is perhaps normal this is nothing but this is something because this needs to be taken to the doctor that the uterus regarding the cervix the main crux of treatment of the cervix is to zap the problem before the symptom starts this is very important for uterine cancer we can act on the symptoms but for cervical cancer we have to start action before the symptom now you will ask doctor how do i do it if it does not give me the symptom how do i treat it if my eyes powers are not bad then how do i get a speck there lies the art of modern medicine for cervical problems you need to have 3 month 3 uh, yearly pap smear which checks the health of the cervix the day the cervix gives symptom you do not want to wait for that date you would want to see when the pre cancer is going into forming cancer and cervical cancer it is very common in, in india more common than any other country in the world except african countries but here people do not talk about it because of tap so you do not listen to that very often but let's go to ovarian problems ovarian problems we have got two ovaries in women's body ovarian problems are non gynecological symptoms they come with gastrointestinal symptom there are lot of data and everything that when women have got ovarian problem they first go to gastrointestinal doctor they do not come to a gynae oncologist let alone gynecologists they usually go to gi doctor medicine doctor thinking that they have got acidity they have got bloating they have got you know this type of problems like uh, problems in passing bowel or urine and those kind of things you don't need to get worried but you need to get alerted that whenever this problem comes particularly in women and it is lasting beyond 21 days and it is not showing sign of getting away you need to report to your doctor if you do all these kind of very small but substantial tests you will be able to save a lot of life in your own lifetime that's a big thing for a human being to achieve let's now finish with something which is not known to women that is known as vulva that is spelled as v e u l v a in most of the school syllabuses in india this area is not taught okay recently in icsc board the vulva has been included into their syllabi why is that vulva is a relatively new concept to understand vulva is the skin between two legs of women a lot of problems can start in vulva and icsc board must have understood the importance of this and therefore after many decades of no vulva teaching to anyone today it has been incorporated in less than 12 years of i mean the school teaching 
so it is very crucial that you understand this the vulva can cause itching discharges all sorts of things now if you have got itching of course it will not be a cancer will it but if the itching keeps on coming back then you need to get a little alert on your head you know what is going on go to your doctor get some medication if problem goes away fine if it does not visit a doctor that's all today we'll see you some other day have a good day Thank you.